Hey, what's up you guys? So like I said in the last video, this next video is going to be about sidechain gating. And in this instance, I have the exact same song, only I've added a synth pad that's playing the exact same parts as the bass. I literally just copied it and brought it up and used the synth pad for uh, in expand too. So here we go. Let's listen to this real quick. Cool. And as you can hear from that, we have a very, very long sustain in this synth. So because of that, it's going to really kind of cloud up the mix by when one thing hits, it's just going to sustain throughout everything. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually trigger it with something that's really, really transient. And that kind of goes in and out a lot and something like a hi-hat. So let's listen to the hi-hat. Yeah, something like that would work. Now, the first thing I want to do is I do want to fix my routing because in Pro Tools, you have to make sure that you're summing into one um, bus at the end. So that way, when it goes to your main outs, nothing's out of phase or off time. So what we're going to do is since we're going to use a hi-hat, we're going to use the same settings that we did for the sidechain compression. We're going to make a bus send and I'm going to send my sidechain number two, set it to pre-fader at unity gain, and then we're going to throw a gate. Now, unlike the last video where I did not use a stock Pro Tools compressor, just because I kind of like the way the other compressors sound, I love the way the gate sounds in Pro Tools. So the first thing I want to do, though, is I want to kind of tailor this right away. First of all, is I wanted to completely gate out the sound. I don't want to worry about doing some expansion or do some light ducking. I want it to completely gate out the sound. Next, we're going to do the key input to sidechain 2. We're going to activate the key, listen, and the key input. So here we go. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tailor the sound to just like the really high end transient material of the hi hat. So let's solo out this pad. So around there is what I want to listen to. So now we're going to have the threshold all the way up so that we can slowly bring down the threshold into releasing it. So the difference between sidechain compression, which is ducking, and sidechain gating is that a compressor reduces the volume of whatever passes its threshold, while a gate reduces the volume of anything that is under its threshold. So when something passes the threshold of the gate, it releases it and lets it go out. And by how much is depending on your settings and your threshold. So what we're going to do is we're going to listen to this synth pad. And now that we're triggering it by the hi-hat, we're going to slowly start bringing it in and dialing in the settings. So here we go. That sounds pretty good to me. I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to leave the threshold as it is. I usually don't do much tweaking to this. I think that Pro Tools stock gate actually naturally just sounds good. All you have to mess with is the attack to kind of bring in how much transient material is it really going to be sensitive to. And the release is, you know, how long will it kind of sustain that release? Um, I think that sounds pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we can actually listen to that in the context of the track. And again, you can hear that when the hi-hat hits, it's going to let go of the gating. So here we go. So there's that versus this. So there you go. I actually think that sounds a little bit better. I made the release a little bit longer. Now, in this case, you can notice that you can have a really long release and still have a really nice sounding gate. I find it that it kind of sounds smoother that way. And if we listen to it versus if we have it all the way down. So I like it better that way. Um, now, again, remember what you're doing differently versus compression is when it passes a threshold on a compressor, it'll reduce the volume. When it passes a threshold on a gate, it actually releases the gate. So it opens up and it lets the signal through. These are very, very useful techniques. One is great for getting things out of the way, while the other one is great for letting things stand out and move up and down in time with something. So these are two great tools and great production tips and mixing ideas. So let me know if this was helpful. Let me know if you guys like this. Let me know if there's anything else like this, something simple and easy to do that you just might 
want to have ideas for. Um, I think for my next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a snare and a signal generator with some like white noise to kind of enhance the snare rattle. So that's going to be the next video, I think so far. Um, let me know if you guys want a different one or anything like that. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.